What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video where today I will be sharing you my morning routine and the ways how it's been helping me out to stay productive and just win the day. A lot of us right now are not in school or not working so a couple of us tend to just sleep in but I want to show you some ways just to be a little bit more productive and win the day so by the time you're back in school or back in work you'll hit the ground running. Let's get on with the video. The first thing that you want to do when you wake up, don't touch the phone. I know that you have emails, you have notifications on your social media, but once you fall into that temptation, you might think to yourself, oh, I'm only going to be here for five minutes. And then five minutes turns into 30 minutes or an hour. And then you just wasted an hour of your day still in bed. So remember, put the phone to the side and I guarantee you that this will help you get your day started on the right foot. Another thing too, if you do need your phone for progress photos or for weighing yourself, just use it for that. So we want to eliminate all distractions, from emails, texts, social media, and so on. Another thing too that is very important that we're super tempted in doing is to hit the snooze button. Don't hit that snooze button because you'll just create this habit and then this is not going to be helpful to you at all when you're back at school or back to work. You want to make sure that you eliminate hitting the snooze button so that when you wake up, you're ready to go and take on the world. So as soon as you are waking up and getting out of bed, before you head over to the restroom, the first thing that you want to do is just to make your bed first thing in the morning. You'll have this awesome feeling of accomplishment, your room will look cleaner, and you're also developing a good habit in the long run. So make sure to make your bed before doing anything else. So after you just made your bed, now you can go over to the restroom and do what you need to do. Either use the restroom, make sure that you're also keeping your hygiene in check, so brushing your teeth, washing your face, do whatever you gotta do. Now, if you are someone who is tracking your fitness progress or if you're on 75 heart, this is the perfect time to weigh yourself or to take those morning photos because at this time of the day, you don't have anything in your system and you don't have to worry about having any food. This is like the first thing in the morning. This is the best time to take those progress photos and the best time to weigh yourself. After you took your progress photos and weighed yourself, the next thing that you should do that is important is to hydrate. Because think about it, you've been asleep hopefully for a little bit more than six hours. Your body is dehydrated and needs water. You want to get in at least 25 to 40 ounces of water just to kickstart your day. Not only will this improve with your metabolism, but this will also have so many health benefits as well. So please, please, please make sure that you are staying hydrated. Your body will thank you later on. Now, after you got yourself hydrated, this is the perfect opportunity to just stretch. So stretches will help out not only with mobility, but it will also help you out with your posture as well. And I have a couple of exercises that I would love to share with you all. The first thing that we will be working with is just a deep squat. Nothing too crazy, but we wanna make sure that our legs are warmed up as well. If you wanna get a nice stretch in the spine, make sure that one hand is placed on the ground while the other one is in the sky. You will be looking to one side, making sure that you are breathing and you will repeat the same thing on the other side. You wanna do this for about 30 seconds. The next exercise that we will be working on is the downward dog to the cobra. You wanna make sure that you are getting deep into that stretch and with the cobra as well, you can look to one side just to get a nice stretch in the spine and the neck and look over to the other side making sure that the movements are nice and controlled and that you are breathing. The next stretch is the cat and cow and you wanna make sure that you are breathing and holding each pose for about two seconds. And as every exercise, you wanna keep this for about 30 seconds long. One of my favorite stretches is the wall slide exercise because this one helps out with your posture. You want to make sure that your back is towards a wall, making sure that you are reaching up 
and when you are coming down you want to make sure that your back muscles are contracting this exercise you want to perform it for about a minute long so once you just finish your stretches they have three ways to start the day productively the first one that is important is just to get an early morning workout in it can be something as simple as taking a walk outside for at least 30 to 45 minutes you know nothing too crazy but this is a perfect time to get your body moving first thing in the morning and also if you want to get two birds with one stone you can also listen to a podcast you'll also be doing yourself a favor by learning but getting your body in motion the second option would be to read to journal if you're a creative artist let those creative juices flow songwrite sketch Take this time to explore your creativity and to just learn and grow. Number three, you can just go straight to the shower. One of the things that I love doing in the morning after my morning workout is to take a cold shower. Not only do cold showers have so many awesome health benefits, but this is going to help you feeling energized and ready to get the day started. And those are some great morning habit routines that you can implement into your life. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like. Please share so that you can spread this awesome information to any friends or family. And please be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when I upload more videos on this channel. Take care everyone.